Morning guys. As you can probably tell, it's still reasonably deep outside. Someone has decided that 6.30 a.m. must be the new wake up time, so 6.30 it is. Why are you awake so early? Why are you awake so early? <sighs> so yeah, anyway, we're up at 6.30, which I hope doesn't um, get her really tired for her photo shoot, which is in the afternoon, but I uh, we'll guess we'll have to see how she goes. Oh, and someone's not really like me in my bed again. So she's already had a change of clothes, and I'm going to have to strip my bed for the second time in a week. Hey guys, I'm going to grab some breakfast, uh, watch some TV until the shop's open and then we'll head down and park it for the first time so this is going to be very interesting <laughs> oh my god guys it was parked for the first time and it was a little bit scary but I got it in the car park so fingers crossed I can do it again when we get in the city where the, the parks are a lot tighter so <laughs> Woo, at least the first test run is down I feel like I need to go and park in 10 different spots in the in the car park so just get some practice before I have to try and do it in the city Alrighty, Harlow fell asleep in the back in the five minutes it took to get here, so that's awesome. But anyway, I'll get her out anyway, because I want to try and sleep closer um, to um, the photo session time, so she's in a better mood. Um, so yeah, I'm going to run in, grab a mount, and we'll run back out really quickly. Alrighty. Alrighty, we're back again, and oh my god, the craziest thing happened. Uh, we were walking out of the reject shop and there was this lovely older lady there with um, this beautiful green eclectus parrot and he was just chilling on her shoulder, kids were coming up to pat him um, and yeah he wasn't trying to fly away or anything, it was it was crazy. <laughs> I wish I had the camera with me because he was very beautiful. Um, she even put it on like another, another lady's arm so that her kids would, would pat it. I've never seen anything like that before, especially down the uh, the high street of Point Cook. So. That was awesome. drive Harlow woke up a couple of times but she had a bit of a nap on the way home so that's good um, we don't really have much else to do today it's gonna be pretty cruisy um, just need to get things ready to go home to my parents tomorrow for the uh, Labor Day long weekend um, 
Carlo's down playing. She's had a little bit of a nap. I don't know if you can see <laughs> decided to give us a lovely sleep in and sleep until quarter past nine, which was very much needed. So, thank gosh I got her back to sleep because 4am start just would not have been fun, especially since I've got to drive two hours to my parents' house in Central Vic. So, yeah, being tired and driving is never a good mix.
a drive. We made it. It's actually a much nicer drive than it usually is because I was in my new car, which was a bonus. Harley did pretty good. She slept for about an hour and a half. But um, she woke up probably about half an hour before we got there. But she did pretty good. She had a little bit of a cry in the back. But um, then she started playing with the toys that are um, in her car seat. And she was very good. Very cheeky. Uh, oh yeah. So anyway guys, we're in the country. It is incredibly hot. Monkey face. Yes, it is nice and hot so we will be able to jump in the pool which will be awesome. Maybe not tonight because we're going to a trivia night or something along those lines. So maybe tomorrow if it's hot in the afternoon we'll go for a swim in the pool. And someone has discovered the TV already. Where's the TV? of it all it just didn't make for a very brave uh, a very baby friendly environment um, so we ended up leaving probably halfway through maybe even beforehand uh, which was a shame because it was a lot of fun but yeah it was just too hot and way too loud so I couldn't even really partake in much of the uh, trivia anyway because I had to keep going out um, with Harlow because she kept getting really unsettled um, so yeah we're back home literally within five minutes of me getting home she was asleep so I just put her to bed I'm just gonna chill here and yeah probably watch some YouTube on my phone or something like that or maybe some TV and then I'll probably go to the shower and go to bed
didn't do much after that. We, um, we went and had lunch. Um, we just drove home and I literally sat on the couch all day watching TV and playing with Harlow. So you definitely didn't miss much. Um, anyway, I'm just about to head for a shower. So I'm going to end the vlog here and I'll see you guys tomorrow or Sunday. Night guys. Bye-bye.